Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of F Train Live. And uh yeah, I decided to uh ditch the the microphones for this one because I, I don't know, it was just there was this like ringing noise in the background, it's kind of driving me nuts. So uh gonna just kind of go for the the regular uh iPhone mic for this one. Um we'll see how it works out, but yeah. Uh and it kind of frees up my body that I was kind of worried about the microphone all the time. And uh, so this kind of frees up my body and to move and whatever. Still using the, uh, the, the tripod and the light. So I guess it was a total waste of money, but you know, um, you live and you learn, right? So uh, I think that's a big lesson of today is you, you live and you learn, you, you, you know, you, in order to, um, in order to move forward in life, sometimes you gotta make some mistakes. And, you know, I wish I was one of those people who can just like do everything right the first time and kudos to them. I, not saying anything bad about them, but I'm, I think I'm just more, I fall into the category where I have to kind of make some mistakes before I can kind of catch on and, and learn about something. Um, but you know, that's just me. Uh, everyone's different. Like we've, we've talked about here on F train live, uh, Everyone's different. Everyone has their um, own strengths and weaknesses. And uh, I think it's up to us to kind of learn about those strengths and weaknesses and uh, kind of move forward in our own kind of mindscapes in order to uh, fully become our best selves, right? So, uh, you know, life is really about becoming your best self, I think. Um, you know, like last night I was feeling pretty down about not like being my best self and um i don't know uh i kind of kind of came out of it this morning uh i think i just needed a good night's sleep i uh, kind of refresh myself and uh yeah i'm feeling a lot more positive a lot more focused um a lot more just optimistic uh because sometimes i kind of get negative about like my situation and and kind of like being being duped you know like with this microphone thing is a good example like felt like i was duped by the company because now like i have this microphone that uh the the there's like a ringing in the background so yeah i mean i don't know it's kind of a little bit frustrating sometimes but uh i gotta think like oh i gotta look at i gotta look at what's what i all i have instead of what i don't have right so um uh, Wish that for all of you too. I wish that you guys can look at all the blessings you have instead of maybe all the negative things you don't have, um, or the, or the things you don't have. Right. So yeah, I went to the gym earlier today. Uh, got that knocked out. Uh, feel pretty good about that. Going to the gym always just is like a good kind of reset for my brain and kind of keeps me, keeps me positive, keeps me kind of Zen and, and, um, kind of just like healthy, you know? Uh, so when I feel like I'm, I'm not going to the gym, I feel like I generally kind of like my just general mind is a little slower. Um, going to the gym kind of speeds me back up and keeps me kind of grounded and, and uh, safe and happy. So yeah, that's I, I think that's what's really important in life is uh, staying safe, staying happy. We've talked about that. Uh, um, not so much staying safe. I mean, I, I think being safe is important too because like if you, you could have all the happiness in the world and you're not being safe with it, then it could get taken away potentially by a, an unsafe action or behavior. Um, so yeah, I mean, life is going along at a pretty steady pace. Um, really, I feel pretty happy about like garnering the audience I have thus far. Um, really want to grow it as much as I can. Uh, love to become like a YouTube partner and um, gain money that way, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there day by day. Uh, I feel like that's another important thing I learned is that it's pretty rare for something to like go from, uh, go from like okay to like super extraordinary awesome just in one, one moment, it takes kind of a while. It's a kind of a slow progress thing to um, kind of fully realize your your dream, your goal, um, for things to 
kind of become really good again. Um, kind of kind of takes a little bit, but yeah, I, I'm slowly getting there day by day. Um, it's funny, I, uh, I got like a recording sign that I post on the, the basement door now, so the rest of my family knows not to not to disturb me while I'm down here uh, <laughs> recording and stuff. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just a lot happier than I was uh, even last year, and it's been just a short while. But um, I think God has worked a lot of really great things into my life in a short period of time. So that's great, you know. And um, it, that's the thing, like it's not it doesn't happen so fast for everyone and i guess i'm just really blessed and um, i'm really thankful that like i was able to kind of bounce back so quickly um from a, a dark space and uh that's another thing i realized too by talking to um a, a friend of mine is that like uh i want i want to create this this youtube channel this series in order to like help anyone who's in a dark space right now kind of come out of it and and uh get to a good spot again because um i have kind of like firsthand experience of being in that in a bad bad place and um uh, just starting to kind of come out of it now and um yeah it, you know it's not it's not pretty it's not it's not where you want to be when, uh, you're, you're there. Um, so, I mean, that, that's what I think. I think that's kind of my purpose in life is what God wants me to do is to, um, help the, help other people, <laughs> help other people who are in a dark spot, kind of come out of it and, and, and see the light again. Um, I think that's, I, I hope that's why God put me here. Um, it's hard to know. It's hard to know, right? Like what, at least for me, like what God wants from you, um, while you're, while you're here on earth, it, it's kind of can be difficult, I guess, to, um, manifest that reality. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, life is going pretty well. Um, as I've said, <laughs> but, uh, not trying to brag, but just, just trying to keep you guys updated. Um, Working on getting some guests um, on the show. I think that would be pretty pretty interesting uh, to see, like their different perspectives as opposed to mine, and um, kind of how, like, because a lot of the guests that I would have on here, like I've known for quite a period of time, so um, it'd be interesting to kind of hear how they, what they've noticed change in me, and like how they've, um, how they've grown and how I've grown and th those kind of competing, those views kind of feeding off of each other would be definitely pretty interesting. Um, different, different viewpoints, you know, are always interesting in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so, uh, life is just good. You know, uh, as you can tell, I know I'm having my coffee today. I'm talking, talking all fast, and <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, uh, I guess we, we've talked about, uh, kind of the Greek history, Egyptian history in, in past episodes, we talked about kind of the Mayans uh, a little bit, um, talked about American history, covered some different cultures, you know, some different, different peoples. Um, it's, it's very interesting, you know, like just kind of seeing where, where different people come from and like. Um, their, how their histories, like, have shaped, um, shaped their lives, our lives today, like, uh, how their histories, like, like, how they, how people used to view the world, like, coming into, um, fruition today, like, I think that's pretty interesting, um, like, I don't know, for example, like, uh, a person from Mexico might see the world um, a little differently than somebody who came from, well, not, not a little bit, probably a lot differently than somebody who came from Ireland, like, like me, like, um, they will have this whole, whole other viewpoint of the world. And, um, and I think that's pretty, pretty wild to think about, like, just like your geographical location on this 
giant spinning globe, like, <laughs> on this giant spinning earth, like, um, has a direct impact on your, like, your mental, your, like, who you are as a person. I think that's, that's pretty, that's pretty special. You know, like, human geography, like, that, that concept is, it's just really, excuse me, really great, uh, really interesting, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I, that's what I realized too, is that I love, I love, like, teaching people kind of about things, and I'm so grateful that I have a platform in order to kind of do that, and to reach you guys, and, and talk to you guys, it's, it feels really good, you know, like, just knowing, like, I'm like, ah, oh, in my heart, I'm like, people are out there listening, and they, they like hearing, like, what I have to say, and it, uh, it, it, even when I say it out loud, it just fills me with so much joy and uh, happiness. Um, and, you know, I love, like, I just love sitting down and, and talking in this kind of, kind of just, you know, like, 20, 30 minutes a day, just like, hey, here's what's going on. Hey, here, did you guys know about this? Do you know about that kind of thing? And, um, you know, hopefully... <laughs> I mean, thankfully, I finally kind of got my butt out of my, or my head out of my butt and kind of ditched the microphones because I think those were just kind of dumb. And now, uh, you know, the sound quality will, m might seem a little kind of like I'm farther away, but at least now you won't have to listen, hear like a ringing. And that, that just seems more annoying to me than, than the alternative uh, for now. So, um, yeah. Uh, probably probably gonna go out to eat a little later today with some friends uh so that'll be that'll be cool looking forward to that um you know uh i feel like my mind is working a lot better than it than it was last year because i was kind of under the influence of drugs for for a long time and uh and now i'm kind of coming out of it and i'm like actually able to think clearly and and feel um, a lot of the emotions that I was just kind of throwing to the side and being like, ah, don't don't deal with that, Matt. Don't 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 focus on that. Just get high or get or get drunk and forget all your problems. And now I'm like, oh, I can. Now I'm actually like sober and and dealing with those issues, and it's just really amazing. It's a really um, amazing thing, and I don't know, like. It, it feels like there's so there was some divine intervention. I, I don't know, like it's hard to say, but um, it, I would I would go so so far to guess that like there was some higher power involved in um, my kind of awakening. I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, um, just really looking forward to all of the great things in life, and um, looking forward to just becoming a even better person than I am now and even smarter and even uh working even harder and uh yeah it's uh, I think that's the, the common trait amongst successful people is that they work hard and they don't um they don't sit down and lie down and um accept defeat they uh always strive for victory and even when they fail time and time again uh, they get back up again, brush themselves off, and uh, try again. So uh, that's that's the important part of life, I think, and that's what I've learned is that um, keep on trying. Don't don't give up. Uh, I believe in you. Uh, you should believe in yourself. Um, I've, you, a lot of people, not everyone, um, unfortunately, but a lot of people have a good support system around. Um, lean on your support system uh, they're there to help you and guide you in this journey of life um, we're all each other's support system we're all kind of here to help each other out and and um, work on our work on ourselves and become better become a better self uh, collective kind of self um, yeah uh, Let's so let's let's shift for a second and maybe talk about um, uh, let's see where where do we want to what do we want to talk about? I was I was gonna say let's talk about like a, a his, the history like kind of what we were doing but 
I kind of we need I need kind of need to sit down and do some research before I start recording so that I can like um, be actually well informed about the history subject. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I can kind of uh, trying to think of history that I know. I'll I'll talk about I'll talk about Roman the Romans a little bit. Uh, so. The Romans came after the Greeks, and they're kind of like the uh, <laughs> kind of like Greek, the, the sequel to the Greeks, <laughs> you know, right? Greek 2.0, um, and they the Greece 2.0, and so they basically um, had a lot of kind of a similar culture. They were kind of like the Greeks, but they kind of the Romans kind of looked down on the Greeks and were were kind of like ah those kind of excuse me, but like they could those kind of like dirty Greeks, like they were, were high and mighty and proper and the Greeks are like kind of low class. Like, and so they kind of saw themselves as like the Greeks, but they were like kind of better than them in a way. Like that's kind of, I, I might be, might be misquoting that, but that's kind of how I think they saw themselves. Um, so they, yeah, they were inspired by a lot of the Greek culture, but they, um, um, kind of thought they were better than the Greeks. Um, and, and yeah, and so they, the Romans adapted a lot of the Greek mythology for their, for themselves into Roman mythology, uh, and kind of added their own things too, um, their own like kind of novel ideas into it. But like, so like, uh, Zeus became Jupiter. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that might be <laughs> what I know, sadly, but, um, no, I mean, Hades became. I'd have to, I'd have to go back and, and look this up because but I just know like Zeus became Jupiter. Um, Pos um, I just remember yeah okay and it's coming back to me so Poseidon became. Uh, so ooh. <laughs> Poseidon became Neptune. Uh, let's see Hades became Pluto. Um, yeah I, I'm just remembering it because. It kind of goes along with the, um, the, 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 eight, the eight planets in our solar system, um, nine if you include Pluto, but um, those, those planets, uh, our planets were named after the, the Roman gods. So like Venus, um, Venus was Aphro, Aphrodite, uh, a goddess of love and whatnot, and uh, fertility, I think, is maybe... Um, I think maybe just love, but yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Hermes became Mercury. Um, Gaia. Gaia is like, so like Gaia is uh, Earth. And like Earth is like, so Gaia was like the, it's kind of like, is a god, but she was like kind of like the, She's kind of like one of the ancient, very ancient first kind of gods. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like lost in thought kind of, but, um, uh, so yeah, after that we have, um, Mars, uh, yeah, after Earth, <laughs> Mars, and Mars was, uh, the god of war, um, and Ares was his Greek counterpart. Mars is the Roman. Um, Ares is the Greek. Um, and then, yeah, we got like uh, I, Uranus was. I, I can't remember who Uranus was. Might not be one. It might be. Um, yeah, and like Venus. Uh, Venus we talked about. Yeah, so a whole bunch of different, whole bunch of different gods and planets associated with them, and all sorts of stuff in the, in the Roman um, culture, Roman mythology. So yeah, the Romans were after the Greeks, thought they were better than the Greeks. Um, yeah, some pretty important emperors. That, that's what the Romans had were emperors. Um, and they, unlike the Greeks, were kind of like a, a one one country of um, a, a Roman Empire. The, the, excuse me, that's what they called it, an empire. 
and they had the emperors like Julius Caesar, um, Augustus, a whole bunch of different emperors. And um, there's a, kind of a funny story uh, of one time when there was this Roman emperor and he was so like, like mind boggling, boggling, mind bogglingly insane that he named one of his horses as a uh, Senate member. Uh, cause he, he just was like, this horse like carried me into battle. It was like a, a awesome war horse. He just woke up one day. I was like, man, I, I, my war horse is the best. And I'm naming him a, he's, he's getting a seat on the Senate. <laughs> so like, yeah, funnily enough, he, he named, he named one of his horses to the Senate and yeah, he didn't, he didn't last long. Unsurprisingly, people were kind of wised up and like, this, this guy seems kind of nuts. <laughs> um, Naming his horse into the Senate, and of course, horse can't make no laws. <laughs> so uh, yeah, horses cannot make laws. We determine here on Up Train Live. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, there was a whole whole there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff with, to do with the Romans. Um, I want to say. Yeah, we, I, I, I'm not too sure about that, so I won't go down that road, but yeah. Um, yeah, Roman history is a thing. There's a lot going into it. Uh, kind of some, some of it's slipping my mind right now, so I apologize for that, but um, yeah, it really, really is some interesting stuff. Um, yeah, I do apologize. I, I try and go into history, but a lot of my knowledge is very sparing, um, just kind of here and there. I picked up some things, I remember, so I just... I like to share it with you guys, um, even though I know it's it's kind of spotty, but uh, yeah. Um, let's see, what else, what other history kind of stuff can we talk about? Uh, China, you know, there's all different dynasties in China, like the Han Han Dynasty, uh, Ming, um, Qin. I want to say different dynasties, and just basically they had. They had emperors too, um, empresses, uh, I want to say, it would be like the female counterparts of the uh, male emperor. Um, and yeah, so that, that was pretty, that's a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff, um, a lot of cool stuff came from China, you know. Um, China as the world's um, biggest population. Um, I think they have like over a billion people now um, and so yeah like they I think as, for, as far as population goes they've got everyone else beat um, so that's pretty interesting um, you know we get we have Japan uh, Japan is kind of known for like being its own kind of secluded space they kind of just like they're kind of like a homogeneous society. They kind of just, not that they only like Japanese people, but they kind of tend to tend more towards just having um, Japanese people in their society. Um, not trying to find any Japanese people out there, but just, yeah, like that's, I feel like kind of stereotypically is the idea, like it's just Japanese people in Japan kind of thing. So yeah, and, and Japan's really interesting too. Obviously, a lot of a lot of stuff has come out of Japan. Um, you got like I think when I say anime came out of Japan, like um, yeah, you got like all sorts of like sushi. Uh, sushi is love sushi. Big sushi fan here. Um, we'll never have a hard time turning down a, a piece of sushi. That's for sure. Any any piece in Nigeria out there is 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 subject to <laughs> subject to being consumed by me for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean that, that's you know that's the interesting thing about about the world is that like there's all these different different pieces and different um, things that like we've come up with, and uh, I think that's a great thing about America is that we. Um, like to embrace all those different aspects and areas of 
uh, cultures and kind of embrace them. We're very open to embracing different um, aspects of culture and uh, generally tend to just like, if we see something we like, we're just like, okay, we'll, we'll adopt that into our culture. Um, definitely not afraid to try new things in America, I think. Um, that, that's part of what makes this, our country so great is that we like see something and we're like, okay, let's adopt that. Let's, let's try that out. See if we can, um, see if we can use that, uh, see if we can make that our own. Um, so that we're just like this melting pot, this hodgepodge of all these different great ideas and, um, yeah, that, that's, that's the great thing about America. Not afraid to try new things. Um. And, you know, I'm just so, so grateful to be an American citizen and, and part of this awesome, awesome country. And I'm so glad you guys all out there are part of my uh, extended America family. Um, and yeah, it just, it feels good to, you know, just like I was saying earlier, like when I sit down and, and really just talk about all the ideas kind of flowing into my head, it, it makes them feel a lot less scary and I feel a lot less kind of worried about um, being inside my head so much. I'm like, okay, if I can actually like talk about them and get them out there, then it just feels, it just feels right. I don't know. Um, I guess maybe that's like the God, a part of, part of God is like uh, manifesting it um, into reality. <laughs> I, that, that, that didn't make much sense. I apologize. <laughs> but, you know, on FTN Live, we, we like to we like to talk about different stuff. So, you guys are cool with that, right? <laughs> um, yeah, and, you know, I just really appreciate you guys just keeping watching and bearing with me through all the, you know, the technical difficulties, the, um, you know, I think, I think the microphones were a good idea on paper, but just kind of not not great to implement i think going forward just kind of talking using the iphone mic will be a bit more beneficial because nobody wants to hear that ringing it'll it, it's it, that's just annoying uh, so yeah like i'm sure the sound quality is a little different now but ultimately better because it's not relying upon um relying upon this mic but you know, whatever it, it is, what it is. Um, can't go back and change it now, really. So uh, let's let's all let's all work on focusing on the things we can change in the future, and and not try and always try to change the past, and um, focus on changing our present so that it can become a a better future for everyone. Um, so yeah, uh, just kind of winding down on this episode. Uh, we talked about. Kind of some Roman ideas, Roman mythology, some some Chinese uh, s topics, Chinese um, inf information, uh, Japanese information, um, all that's good stuff. Um, because yeah, it's just it's a wonderful world out there, you know, and, and all these different. If everyone, I, I can't remember where I heard this, but like if everyone was the same, then it would be pretty boring you know wouldn't wouldn't be much wouldn't be a very interesting place to live the fact that we're all different people with different ideas and that's kind of in different viewpoints is really what makes life on earth so interesting um and you know we're the only species of animal that can like sit down and actually talk and like understand the meaning behind like sounds and <laughs> so that's that's pretty special, I would say. Um, pretty, pretty impressive. Um, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting idea there, like that. Like every other, I mean, like every other species on Earth, like can't do this. Like can't understand. Like can make noises with their mouths all day, but it would mean not nothing. But you know, like we have the most complex understanding of this, and that, so that's that's pretty pretty amazing uh, to think about. Um, and it's just like something to think about, something to definitely something to just toss around in the old, the old, the old brain, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been F train live. 
I will catch y'all in the next episode. See ya.